It is a lovely day in Flatlandia. I have my P1000. I'm sitting on a beach here in Hamilton, Ontario. 52.3 kilometers, or 32 and a half miles that way, is downtown Toronto. And we're just about to zoom in. What we expect to see is the CN Tower. Below the CN Tower is the Rogers Centre. The sports stadium is called Rogers Centre. The, the white roof, formerly known as the Sky Dome. And below that is the Billy Bishop Toronto City Centre Airport. Globers tell me there's 176 feet of globe bulge between me and Toronto. But we'll see about that. This is the P1000. It'll zoom right in, guaranteed. There we go, let's zoom in. As you can see, here comes the CN Tower. Wow, beautiful. There you go, there's the CN Tower. Globe busted, flat earth confirmed. Uh, let's just pull back a little bit. Wait, we're missing some details. Where is the Rogers Center? And where's the airport? Uh, okay, um, well, this is a P1000. It should have enough zoom. I may need to step up to a P2000. Um, does this thing have the latest firmware? Uh, let's try it again, let's zoom in a little more. Well, once again, we're seeing the tower, but no Rogers Center, and definitely no airport. Stupid flatty. It doesn't matter how much you zoom in, there's a wall of water between the camera and the base of the CN Tower. Flatties think the base of the tower is hiding an optically distorted area above the horizon, and they're completely and demonstrably wrong. I will show the base of the tower is well below the horizon. And there is in fact a 176 foot tall bulge of water between my camera and the base of that tower. Let's take another picture of a tower that shows a whole tower. How would we do that? Well, I think we should increase our elevation and see over this bulge. Now what we will do to get to higher elevation, I have to move back a little bit up Hamilton Mountain. So I'll back it up a little bit and climb the mountain and we'll take another picture. Here's a picture I took from Hamilton Mountain. Uh, notice now we can see the Rogers Center, the white uh, roofed sports stadium. The Billy Bishop Airport is still hidden behind the horizon though. Now we will overlay the two pictures, carefully matching all the details at the top of the tower to determine where the base of the tower would be. There is a base well below the horizon of a picture I took on the beach. 176 foot tall bulge, confirmed. Have some curvature flatties, either Toronto's flooding or we're looking at bendy water. Now the flatties will try to dismiss it away with their flurf talking points. Angle of attack, convergence, flurspective, fluming, refraction, I've heard it all. Why don't you take your own advice flatties and trust your own eyes. If you could subscribe I would really appreciate it and do check out my other videos. I would like to get monetized. Globe smack again 3 yo.